just wanted to talk about that. I just wanted to make sure I had it. Because I had tried doing it earlier. Okay. Um, so, uh, I'm all messed up now. Because it's actually take two. Like, the battery ran out on me, so. Um, anyway, I'm decided to do another, um, thing. Um, play music in the background. And, um, because I kind of enjoyed it, you know, before. So I decided to do something new. And, um, I'm playing songs from Melanie C's, uh, album this time, which is her most recent one, uh, from, when? Two years ago, 2007. And, um, the reason I decided to pick this one was because, um, Maya was, um, I don't remember what her blog name is, um, was asking about, um, blogger, uh, I mean, was planning on putting together a blogger and all her playlist, and she was asking for songs to put on it, and I suggested, um, Love Game by Lady Gaga, of course, because I'm obsessed with Lady Gaga right now, and also, um, the song Fragile by Melanie C., um, which is not on this album. It was recorded during this time, but I think it's a B-side or a bonus track for an overseas country. And I just love that song. And so I just, just had Melanie C on the mind and decided to play it. And um, what I'm probably going to do is have you guys pick the next album that I'm going to listen to uh, during next week's um, In My Mailbox, or even uh, during my Seven Book Babies post. Who knows? Um, so, I mean, I'll probably link back to the um, pictures that um, show off the CDs that I own, and you can just make suggestions in the comments, and I think that'd be really funny, because then you can get to, uh, listen to some sort of, some things, some new music, and, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy that, and I hope, I hope it's a fun little bonus, I guess, um, so anyway, on to, you know, what this is actually all about, the books, um, on Monday, I got the books Love Aubrey by Suzanne LaFleur, and I'm probably just going to give this to the library, I really don't have no idea what I'm going to do. I might read it, I might not. Um, and also, A Kiss in Time by Alex Flynn. And, um, Alex was featured on, um, Alexa Young's blog, Worst Review Ever. And, um, for this book, actually, I think, um, it was a, like, a Goodreads review or something like that, I'm not entirely sure. And, yeah, so I don't know, I'll, I might give this a shot, or I might just donate it to the library, and then just kind of, um, read it later. <laughs> you know, then, then just borrow it from the library. Um, some day this week, um, I got the book Recycler by Lauren McLaughlin. And I have a couple things to talk about this. Um, first, uh, Lauren, um, now I'm not entirely sure, I think she adopted, but... Um, I don't think she gave birth to a baby, um, but she has a baby now, um, and I'm pretty sure she adopted, and, um, it's on her blog, and I wish, wish her congratulations, and so I said that was a fun little tidbit, I didn't even know that, um, but Justine Larberlesti, a, uh, Larberlesti, or I don't know how to pronounce her last name, um, <laughs> uh, posted about it on Twitter, so. I went to go see it, and I wish her congratulations, and that was great. Um, and the other thing is, um, if you guys will remember, um, the first book in the series, Cycler, um, came out in hardcover first. Well, I guess it might not have sold well or something, but it's coming out, uh, this one is coming out in trade paperback first. So it's going to be $9, um, I think. Yeah, $9. And so I'm really surprised. I was really surprised to see this. it was going to be a, a, um, a paperback. But, oh well, I guess, it, I mean, that's good for you guys. Because then it, you know, plus money and you can actually go out and buy it. And it's coming out in late August of this year. So, that's, there's that. And I'm really excited to read it because I love the first book, Cycler. Um, yesterday, I got a book from Simon & Schuster. And um, I got really excited um, because... Um, I was ho really hoping that it was The Hollow by Jessica Verde, because I know that's published by, um, Simon Pulse, I think, or, I don't know, something, Some Simon & Schuster Company, and, um, and so I thought, and it was a, you know, it's a pretty thick book and everything, and so I thought, 
uh, which might be the hollow. Um, well, I for, but I forgot that I had also asked for um, Tricks by Ellen Hopkins. And so, yeah, I've got an advanced copy of Tricks. I'm really excited to have this book. I love it. I mean, I don't, I don't know yet, but I'm sure I will. I love, I've loved all of Ellen's other books, and I'm really excited to be able to have a an advanced copy of this. I'm always, I'm always so happy to get advanced copies of Ellen's books because I just love them so much, and it's great to be able to read them before anybody else, really. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, but I'm really excited to have this, and, and I love these covers that she has for her books. They're so great. So um, yeah, so there's that. Um, <laughs> And then, uh, I got this book, was trying to get sent to me, um, by UPS, and so eventually I just kind of had them leave it at the main hub, I guess, um, in our area, so that I could just go pick it up. And I went to go pick it up on Thursday, and, um, and it's not a book I want, so I'm probably going to end up, um, <laughs> giving it to anybody at the library, um. It's called Grey Baby by Scott Loring Sanders. And I'm not sure. Oh, it's a Houghton Mifflin book. Yeah, I don't I, I don't think I'm going to. I really don't think. Oh, I have his first book. I didn't realize it was the same guy. Um, he wrote the book The Hanging Woods, which I have an advanced copy of somewhere. So, but I don't know where. But, yeah. So, I don't know. I don't think I'll read it. It doesn't look like a book I would really want to read. And then today, I am so happy to have this book. You you have no idea how excited I am to have this book. And I'm so glad it came this week, at, you know, because I wanted to talk about it this week. I got a copy of Another Faust by Daniel and Dina Nayeri. And I am so happy to have this. You have no idea. I am so excited. It came with a little press release sort of thing. Um, I guess this was in the uh, catalog or something like that. And then there's a little back uh, talking about each character and what, they, what they're what they trying to get. And, um, ugh, I am so excited. You have no idea. It just looks so good. And, ugh, oh, so happy to have this. You have no idea. So yeah, so that's my um, week in books, and that's really all I have. Oh, what I wanted to um, just mention really quickly is um, I was in my library the other day, and they had already gotten a copy of, and put on the shelves, a copy of Strange Angels by Lily St. Crow. That only came out like less than a month ago. That was just a couple weeks ago, and they already have a copy on the shelves. I find that amazing that they already have that there. So, um... Yeah, that's pretty much about it. That's, that's all I have to say. <laughs> but I was just so shocked. I was just like, whoa. So, um, yeah. So I'll just go ahead and start, stop talking. And, uh, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And, um, and, uh, yeah. So leave, uh, comments on what you want to, want to listen to, I guess, next week. Um, along with me. Okay? So, uh, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.